So it looks like we have Stain 1 versus Bakugo 1. Very cool. And the Stain player does have a proxied Excited for Blood because, you know, we're a locals level event. It's all good. It's an ultra rare foundation. I think it's only one one card, right? Not the biggest. We get these health totals adjusted here. I could go. I'm excited. Excited for this. These are two characters that people have been, you know, hype about at different times, but have never really showed up. Big whale. I have to transition the whole boom. Two big six hander. The neat. Officially licensed MHA sleeves. We got Bakugo going first. Or, hold up. <laughs> ah, come on, you gotta go first. I do not know what symbols there are. I don't have access to. Oh, I gotta change the names. I'm a buster. I'm a total buster. I'm so sorry. I'm new to this. I've done this like five times. Alright, I'm top. Let me double check. Hunter versus. What it says. That's not their name. That's not on me. That's on the app. Come here, Roosters. Now that we got everyone's name and their health all situated. <laughs> I'm going to be OCD about it. Dude. Okay, we got the excited for bloods. Another exc Maybe we got more than just excited for bloods. Yeah, okay, we're proxying classmate introductions. Okay, interesting. We got a few, we got a few proxies. It's no big. I can a couple proxies. And I do like that, you know, they had the wherewithal to swap it out for a real copy once one be live from available. I actually don't know if I own any copies of Classmate Introduction. Interesting. <laughs> I have to I have to think about that. Um, but first attack coming down, Nitro Ignition. The SR from set one. Five high for four. Pretty solid attack, right? Like a lot of decks are down to run this just because it leaves the card pool. And it's got five speed, just Absolutely insanely static with that. How many other four diffs are five speed? Like massive flash speed. Flashing whirlwind. Attacks that don't do much else. 
Oh, this is a nice one. We got the plus two to our check from first day of class. I have to commit anything else. Might just blow it up anyways, right? I mean, if we were gonna draw cards here, there is a world. Oh. <laughs> Man, I don't think we're going for the jugular. There's a lot of buttons you can press, but they're not necessarily buttons you could be. Gonna get some nice poke in here. It looks like we're gonna deal four damage on the puzzle. I am gonna have to be guessing with these life totals a bit because I cannot hear the players and they don't have a life total on screen. I am separate from their game. I'm not. They cannot come to me. I'm not a judge. I'm muted, deafened, all that good part of it. But a solid build out, a solid poke turn. Right, we got. Oh, we took the nitro. I missed the nitro. That's mine. Missed it. But we're actually. We should be at 21. Should be taking four from the nitro and four from the partial block. So, pretty good turn. Bakugo with lots of momentum. You know, he's got some really good payoffs for it. Powerful all over the Fury Keep. And Stain answering back with a knife slice. Okay. A lot of people were not sold on Order Stain because of Electric Jolt and Throws. They figured if you just play Knife Slice and you just play a Piercing Descent and... You know, his, was it the five double blade slash, right? The stun one that's like massive speed. They figured that he was going to deal some damage. And, you know, now we've got nervous habit up on this. Like, it's eight speed low. I'm pretty sure this is dealing damage, but... I mean, a plus one low would bail us out. An observant student would bail us out. But yeah, we didn't... Uh, Oh, Aura go for the win, because we're on death, not air. Because <laughs> we're on death, we have go for the win. Checking a five, bailing us out. But if Stain has a follow-up attack... Oh, okay, and that's that's a pretty good one. That is, I was just about to say, you know, when we were talking about the electric jolt and how people were like, oh, well, I think I'll just play really fast attacks. Turns out in the very next set, they gave him his own electric jump. The Laceration has the Stain combo enhanced, meaning only Stain can play it. That uh, if it's completely blocked, it still deals one damage. So that's a rare from the last set. And then you can also remove a weapon card from your discard pile, and your rival just loses one health. It can't kill them, but you know, it is a, it is a way to activate things like Excited for Blood. So that's really cool. Um, I guess it activates Keen Observation, which, you know, it, it is a little weird that it doesn't activate with Stain. I'm I'm a little surprised Stain doesn't count any life loss, any health loss. You might have thought that would be a little too easy. <laughs> a little too easy to activate. Or like if it punished people for paying health. So, Laceration looks like it's dealing its damage here. Gonna deal five. Moving on with another classmate introductions, an actual one. Uh, that is a blood curdle proxy. That proxy is a blood curdle. I think that that is a classmate introductions. The proxies aren't great for stream, but I'm a pro proxy guy. They do not bother me. As long as the players know what's going on, it's fun. And hey, by playing in these events, Connor's going to get loyalty points that he can spend on blood curdles. So, it's not like it's going to be this way forever, right? 
Ooh, stun grenade. Ultra rare from Heroes Clash. It does what it says on the tin. It do be stunning. Not gonna fire the nervous habit. I was just about to say, I don't know if we get to press that button because nervous habit blows up committed to blow up a ready foundation here. I think that's worth it. I don't know, like, the longer you wait for this to go off, like, they might just have committed foundation to blow up. So, like, here you would for sure get a ready one. Interesting. Very interesting. Gonna get plus two to our next check with first day of class, but actually flipping it this time, saying we are hungry for blood. We're not just excited for it, we're thirsty for it. Like we're gonna take the four here and we're choosing to discard the stun grenade. The only apprehension I can believe that would be coming from that decision is if we have a combo attack, if we have a, a impact cyclone in our hand, but it is just another stun grenade, which is gonna get plus one to its stun rating because an attack has left the card pool now. Very, very frustrating to deal with. Still not electing to pop off the Nervous Habit. So, Nervous Habit could be really, really important to our game plan. And honestly, making Bakugo lose one ready foundation with double encouragement and his response going... Probably not going to be the biggest deal anyways, right? So if we do survive this turn, that Nervous Habit could be integral to our game plan going forward. Could just be a foundation we actually need. When realistically, it's going to be whether or not Bakugo has the attacks in hand. Which Bungardade does a pretty good job of replacing it. Uh, we choose, choose not to hit the response here. I don't know if that was a partial block, unfortunately, because I don't know which card that was. Um... But we choose not to do the response because we do have that combo attack and Bane wisely using the minus three check hack here. So again, I'd really like to think that the nervous habit, right, would have tapped him out at this point. Um, Bane response is really strong against an attack like Howitzer Impact Cyclone, but this is probably going to be swinging for lethal. We're at 17. We can pump this by... Oh, so with Bakugo and every single button on it, yeah. We're gonna put some speed on it with Let's Fight Bad Guys. We dump our momentum and Bakugo. This is lethal, and so you have to block, and then we get to clear our card pool. And then one foundation plus Bakugo means like one more guaranteed attack. One more guaranteed four diff attack. Oh, man. But if we block this and they get to play one more attack and check a three, there's like no way we die, right? Oh, we didn't? Okay. We only, we, we're keeping one moment. Very cool. Keeping one moment. So this is going to 17. So maybe we did partial the last one. This could, uh, oh no, 17 is exactly full. Okay. Oh no. They're going for the win. All right. Oh man. Oh, that card is so gnarly. This is now what, seven speed? Yeah, that's gonna do it. Not having a block modifier good enough. Bakugo takes game one with the Howitzer Impact Cyclone for Exacties. And that was so much momentum, right? So much momentum from that first game. Uh, yeah, so that minus three in the Nervous Habit didn't even matter. Didn't even come into play. 
You hate to see it. You hate to see it. We had stun one, then stun two, and then go for the win. And that was just enough. I guess, okay, so, little backseat driving, right? This is just, I'm the outside observer, I get the, I basically get the ability of hindsight and the immediacy, right? And there is a world where we have a block. Potentially, you know, again, I don't know what's in anyone's hand. He could have had all low block. Doesn't matter. But if we op one ready foundation and then get the check hack and then they have to commit let's fight bad guys, right? Then maybe a five speed impact cyclone is blockable. Even on like a partial. Just to stay alive. I mean a partial and then they get to clear their card pool is like not much better, but all right, a few build from stain here. Divs, all right. On a f Ooh. All right, I like the priority though. I dig the priority. Get to bail ourselves out once with the character. And then the one that we failed, the one that was the least important to us, so to speak, was the only, you know, was a purely offensive card, right? The lowest impact offensive card when we're going second. I dig the priority. Hmm. Looks like we're attacking. No way that's an excited for me. I have no clue what that what these proxies. I think this is a knife slice? Interesting. I gotta hook Connor up with some commons, man. Connor, if you're watching this, you need commons, uncommons. Let me know, brother. I'll hook it up. Last made introductions, I don't know. I don't know if I own those. Actually, set one, I don't know. <laughs> but send a send a list my way. I'll see what I can do, man. Let's get it hooked up. Excited for bloods, like all rares, rares, you know, we don't care if you proxy. Those are cards you have to proxy, but uh This is a knife slice man, let me know. Help you out. So it looks like eight low for four? Maybe it's not a knife slice. Like, first villain encounter. Okay, so that was the two diff. So we had a zero. We committed the zero to play a four difficulty attack, I guess. And then we committed first villain encounter. Then we drew off of excited for. So I believe this. So this is a double blade slash, or what's the. What's the five speed? The five speed uh, double blade slash. I'm pretty sure that was a no, because we checked the three mili committed one. 
Maybe it's Slashing Whirlwind. Slashing Whirlwind is 5 speed, 4 damage. I would have got plus 1, plus 1. Oh man, I have no clue for Yeah, I guess it's Slashing Whirlwind. There's only 4 diff that could have those stats. I'm like, that 2 cards. Uh, this is Unfun Fridays, Fly High Rock. This is, I believe, the longest running weekly. I think the longest running continuous, at least weekly. We might have taken a break for uh, HLC, but even then, I don't think we did. But uh, it's like week 40. Maybe it says on the. Yeah, this is week 41. So. Got like 16 players, a pretty good showing. For a webcam local, it's pretty nice. I think we're gonna try and make a push to get to 40 players pretty soon. Ooh, another stun grenade. Rough stuff. Oh, and we had to commit our character. Oh, it looks like one of those proxies wasn't it. Ooh. We might not have any ready foundations. These might be just at bits. Oh, I guess we did just stun one. <laughs> it's so hard to tell, man. Oh, you get your pick of the litter. The OG Howitzer Impact or... Or more stun grenade. What would you pick, chat? What would you guys choose? Stun grenade? I like stun grenade. I like the guaranteedness of it. Tempting a block plus one mid block, maybe that's slashing. <laughs> Bakugo response is gonna come in here. I wish I knew the help. Pretty sure, yeah, we know that you know, Spain did some damage. I'm gonna do this. I believe it was four. I'm going to drop the second stun grenade. Dealt that damage. Impact Cyclone. Combo Cyclone. Oh, another stun grenade? I might have missed the enhance. He probably just ripped that off that one. I probably just missed him because I was messing with health levels. Damn, whiff on the third stun. That's good. You know, you, come on, man. You, you, you got to call it quits at some point. Can't keep doing this to the man. You gotta chill out eventually. And not using encouragement, right? So we're almost certainly done attacking. We've done our damage. We've gotten our momentum. Our rival's at 21. We weren't popping foundations there. Right, let's see what stain can do see what stain can do here not not a ton of foundations for either player so. one bad check could swing this game very quickly A single bad check could doom either player here. So you have to feel pretty good if you're Bakugo because Stain basically says plus one, plus one. 
If you're all tapped out, if you ain't got no defense or whatever, even if you're defenseless, yeah, it's like one damn. Two with keen observation. So cannot see that. I kind of like the idea though, with the first villain encounter and box full of babies, you just get like a ton of plus one plus ones. You have like your own small number set up. Yeah, so I think that was Slashing Whirlwind. And then this is going to be Laceration. And at that discard pile to remove the weapon to burn the rival for one. one plus one from a box full of babies and it looks like we got plus one plus one from a first villain encounter and then we got the one speed and the burn one so effectively plus one plus one from stain yep and then when they burn one they're going to take an additional one from keen observations uh oh this came in for seven damage burn one from stain <laughs> Oh, maybe that was... Oh, that could have been Piercing Needle. That could have been the Toga card that burns people for two more. So, I think that was 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Okay, okay, we're at 12, I think. I'm digging it. I'm digging it. That's a lot of tiny little bonuses that, that add up to... Uh, <laughs> pretty substantial at that um, that makes a lot more sense piercing needle I was trying to find out what four difficulty attack was that fast for that little damage and it's the enhanced to give it plus two speed minus damage. So now, now the math makes sense in my head they're flipping a whole bunch of cards here I think we were just drawing cards in game but I don't know how much very much an estimate of where we're at. To look a little better. I believe that's what happened. I believe that's where we ended up. <laughs> Not easy to do the production side and the. Ooh, okay. Starting off with the howitzer impact. And Stain saying, no, 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 that's not a commit one. That's a commit four. 
Oh, Stain with like our commit, just discard a card? Hell yeah. Oh, but we had a second one. Oh, and we still check good. What is this, man? Stain can't catch a break today. Damn, son. Yep, gonna pop that probably for the two speed. Yes, yes, yes. Some people are just born better. How'd the, uh, how'd the interview go? Or has that happened yet? I'm assuming it's happened at 6 p.m. <laughs> Alright, oh, man. Double, double howitzer. Imagine if he checked the six on the second one to really rub it in. Really big. Yeah, I guess I have to blow up a ready found. Oh well. Oh, okay. Yeah, that doubles your odds. Probably not real math, but it. I'm going to say it doubles your odds. <laughs> doubles your opportunities. Oh, no. Oh, this is a fucking weird rules question. Is the howitzer impact that dealt damage the first attack of the turn? Or, like, is it the first attack you successfully played or the first attack you attempted? Because he never successfully played the attack. Because of the check hat. So I'm assuming... I'm assuming you don't get the... Or you do get the instant explosive release. Because it shouldn't be the first attack attempted to deal damage. If it was like you played the attack... Yeah, if it was like you played the attack and then it got decoy duplicated, no. Because you, your first attack didn't even resolve. But because... Oh, let me see if they're talking to a judge. Might have a judge. I think there's a bunch of people. But yeah, so I'm pretty sure he gets it. I'm like... I'm like 68, 69% sure. Almost 70% sure he gets it. Alright, so it looks like we are going to stick the block on this. And then, that's the other thing. Even if, yeah, even if you, like... If he blocks it anyways, you still get to discard it from the card pool. That's a lot of the strength of instant explosive relief. got for me what's the follow-up what's the plan here it goes Ooh, checks a three here. Interesting. I wonder how this turn would have looked if... Oh, choosing to commit Bakugo so we can have the speed on this. The potentially force lethal through, but with four foundations up. It might come down to a control check here. i to draw one million cards. 
Put this two speed on it. Oh, and I got the two damage from IER deal. Should be at a Ooh, dumping the momentum saying you ain't got the high block. You didn't bring a plus one block here, so five, effectively six speed. Um, a plus three block and a five check stays alive. So not the most threatening circumstances, but we've made it fast enough that a bad block mod and a bad check kills us. Or wins the game, depending on but the table you're on, of course. Yeah, five high for 20, man. That sure is a game. That sure is a game plan. Oh, so we checked the three, but we had a good block mod. <laughs> So it looks like we had a plus one, which I believe is a piercing descent, if I had to guess. Because five, six, seven, we checked a three and committed four. Bro, why would you need to define first attack? It's clearly your first attack of the turn. <laughs> You know what we mean. Oh, shoot. We're going for this? This isn't lethal, right? We don't have a way to clear this card pool. We just said, fuck it, we're tapped out. <laughs> that one's a plus one mid block that leaves the card pool, though. That's actually, like, one of your best blocks in a deck like this. Huh. Are we going to game three or did that actually kill? Doesn't look like we're shuffling up for game three. I missed something. I had the health totals totally wrong. Um interesting. Yeah, I must have missed something while fucking with the settings. Maybe one of the players had to leave. You never know with the locals kind of a thing, man. Um, yeah, I can't say I know for sure because it looked like that attack was nowhere near lethal unless partial the first two. Oh, well. Um, well, that's round one. <laughs> I'm going to see if they've, uh, there's no report yet to see exactly what happened. But from the looks of it, it looks like, looks like Taylor won. The Bakugo player picked up the win. Issue. Looks like they're still in the call though. Maybe there's just something wrong with the webcam. We're just waiting to get game three started. I'm really not sure. So is first attack actually defined as the same as next attack, but the first one in old UFS. Oh, okay. That's super interesting. I mean, that's totally worth a clarification because they haven't messed with that rule really. So that's pretty interesting. <laughs> I literally, okay. Yeah, that's why I figured. There's a couple of things in old UFS that say go look at next attack and just swap out a word. 
So I wasn't sure if that was one of them. Um, yeah, it looks like Bakugo got the 2-0. I think the player just had to leave to go take care of something else. Womp womp. A little anticlimactic, but it do be like that sometimes. That is how it goes. Well, that was round one, guys. Congratulations to Bakugo.